Samuel Getachew uh, is now joining us on phone. He's uh, an Ethiopian citizen, I believe, and uh, uh, was at the scene of the crash. First of all, Samuel, what did you see of the remains of that flight, ET-302? Uh, good morning. Uh, before I begin, I just want to say, uh, you know, there are so many medias that are saying the people that died are from the States, Canada, and European nations. But the most people that died are from Kenya. I think that we should make that very clear. Mm -hmm. the, the most people that died on that plane, and sadly were Kenyans, and we're very, very sad as an Ethiopian, as a human being. But, you know, we went to the uh, area yesterday, and what we saw was we couldn't even find bodies. What we saw were body parts uh, and things that were broken in so many pieces, and we couldn't even see... The plane, there was a big hole. Once the plane went down, there was a, it made a huge hole. Mm -hmm. The plane, the whole plane went inside that hole. And they were trying to pieces, piece all the broken pieces together. And that's what we saw. R right. Um, as you said, that that's what you saw. Um, you took over, with the pictures that we see show of an, an aircraft that was even burnt, was there a ball of fire that you witnessed, charred, a body? We, see, we, we went, uh, it took three hours just to get to the area. Mm -hmm. uh, the last, it was in a small village and there was no road. So for the last uh, 12 kilometers, it took us an hour and a half just to be at the place. Mm -hmm. So it was an effort to go to the area. And by the time we went, everything was under control. Right. Uh, the yeah. police had arrived. There was a helicopter that brought the president of Ethiopian Airlines. Mm -hmm. The prime minister was there and he had left when we, le when we landed. Mm -hmm. So it was, we, we, we were at the area after like eight hours after the incident. And I hear that the Ethiopian government has declared a day of mourning. Um, even on your end, from where you are in Ethiopia, have you gotten any, uh, has, has Ethiopian Airlines rather released any further information? Uh, they, uh, they had a press conference uh, right after the accident. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they're due to make uh, another statement. Uh, but they've been very active on social media, on Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, explaining what happened and uh, offering any kinds of help uh, any of the families would want. Again, we have to highlight the people that died right. the most were Kenyans. Uh, and Samuel, as you talk about that, what you are, what you cited were body parts uh, strewn uh, across the ground. Now, these citizens are from at least 33 nations. Um, yeah. How much time did it take to collect the bodies? And what do you think in terms of uh, identification of the remains? Uh, how long may it take and how complicated will the situation be? Um, it would be very difficult to identify any of the bodies because what we saw were, you know, hands, legs, and all kinds of body parts. Mm. And I'm sure it will take weeks to identify any of them mm. if we're lucky, but I don't think we'll be able to identify many of them. Some right. of them were just burned. They were just bones. As a reporter based in Ethiopia, um, how difficult has it been covering this story on your end? Well, Ethiopia um, has a low uh, standard when, we, when it comes to the media. We, when we took uh, pictures at the, uh, where the area where, where it happened, mm -hmm. the police came to us and asked us to delete all the pictures we had taken. Mm. And police. the reason we went to the accident wasn't just to look. We went to make a public interest uh, story. Mm. Uh, but they had us deleted. But once we came back to Ethiopia, we were able to retrieve all of them back. All right. And do you have any information? Because we know what is uh, popularly known as uh, the black box or the flight digital data recorder. Do you have any indication of whether those have been recovered for investigation? Um, I don't think they've been recovered uh, as far as I know. But uh, Boeing, uh, uh, a team of uh, Boeing engineers are arriving in Ethiopia t today uh, trying to help, trying to assist uh, the Ethiopian investigators uh, piece everything together. Mm hmm and I think uh, the black box will be uh, the highlight of their work. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Samuel Getachew, uh, who is a thank reporter you. with the reporter newspaper in Ethiopia. Uh, thank you for your time. We hope to get in touch with you later on to have more information on the progress in as far as the investigation are concerned.